more talked about measures was Proposition 64. That legalized the recreational use of marijuana. It was approved last night, as you can see there, with 56% of votes and people saying yes to that proposition. Raising the questions, the question, what changes will take effect immediately and how will it be regulated? CBS 13's Drew Belay is getting answers. He's live at Sacramento City Hall for us tonight, Drew. Yeah, so what happens now? That is the big question after this proposition does go through. And according to the state constitution, it kicks in right now. But not everything is going to happen all at once. So you won't see any of these pot shops popping up on a corner near you just yet. There are some major decisions that need to be made by local municipalities. We're thankful that it passed. Business was busy this morning for Kimberly Cargyle at Therapeutic Alternatives, a medical marijuana dispensary in Sacramento. We've had a number of phone calls and we've been fielding phone calls all day. People are wondering, so can I get cannabis without a doctor's note? We don't have recreational stores yet. Short answer, no. With the passing of Prop 64, here is what became legal today. People over 21 can consume marijuana in private, possess one ounce of marijuana, but you cannot consume it in public places, nor carry it near places like schools. The courts and people facing marijuana possession charges were affected immediately as well. Whatever was charged as a felony and should be a misdemeanor, we were reducing them to misdemeanors as they come along. Steve Grippy, the Sacramento Deputy District Attorney, says his office has about 75 pending cases for review. His team is working through many unknowns for both prosecutors and police. We don't have studies that have been done to tell us what level constitutes uh, impairment. Determining impairment could take years, as could seeing the first recreational pot shop. These things take a while. They take time. The Bureau of Marijuana Control has until January 1st, 2018, to finalize industry regulations from cultivation to sale. After that time period is when um, folks might start seeing uh, marijuana businesses cropping up in their jurisdiction. But there is still local control and some municipalities may pass on the marijuana biz altogether. Another thing we heard a lot about leading up to the election was all these tax dollars. When would the floodgates open on the potentially hundreds of millions of dollars of tax dollars? Well, the sales tax that is expected to be collected won't happen for years, and the amount of that is going to be determined by how many cities and counties allow marijuana businesses to operate. So there's still a lot to be seen from Prop 64. Many unknowns, Drew, indeed. Thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento. And one of the